Welcome to the Integration Training Series. In this video, we will demonstrate the purpose and function of the item setup table for integrated customers. Additionally, we will also explain the importance and function of the primary item field. Let's get started. For integrated customers, the item setup table is used to convert item values that are being sent by the trading partner to the corresponding item values that are in your ERP system. To access the item setup table, click on the icon in the upper left hand corner. Select Transaction Manager and then select Trading Partners. Navigate to the trading partner that you are setting up. In the action bar, click the Translations drop down and choose Item Catalog. When you receive a purchase order from a trading partner, the item information that they are sending will automatically populate in the item setup table. It is recommended to wait to see what values the trading partner will be sending before manually adding any information, as this will save time and avoid any errors from manual entry. In order for the item setup table to work, the primary item field will need to be set up properly. The primary item is a unique item value being sent by the trading partner and is usually the same for all orders. For instance, they might send a UPC number, a buyer's item number, or a vendor item number. Whatever item value they are sending would need to be set as your primary item field. The primary item is located to the right of the item translation column in the item setup table. The default primary item value in Transaction Manager is UPC number. If your trading partner is not sending a UPC number, this would need to be changed. Before making any updates, be sure to check the Items tab on the order you received from your trading partner to verify what item values are being sent. For example, the trading partner is sending the UPC number, the SKU number, and the vendor part number. While any of these values would work, the primary item number can remain as the default UPC number. In this example, however, the trading partner is only sending the vendor item number. The primary item number would need to be changed. To change the item field from the partner record, click the Preferences drop-down and choose Transactions. Next. Choose Translations. Here you will find the Primary Item Field column. To change the value, click directly on the current value to reveal the drop-down options. It is best practice to change every drop-down to the new value. Once the Primary Item value has been updated, Click Save in the action bar. The primary item field will then be updated in your item setup table. Once the primary item number is established, the next step will be to complete the item translation column. The item translation column must be populated with the unique value for each item from your accounting package that corresponds to each value in the primary item column. The item translation value must be spelled exactly how it appears in your accounting package. It is also case and space sensitive. For instance, the first item listed in the primary item column is the highlighted value ending in 011. This is the value that is being sent on the order from the trading partner. If this item is in your accounting package as item 1, then item 1 would need to be entered into the item translation field. In some instances, the values that are in your accounting package might be the same as the values that are being sent on the orders. In any case, make sure to fill in the item translation value for all items. It is important to remember that the item translation value will need to be filled in any time a new item appears in your item setup table. 
Otherwise, there will be no link for the items between Transaction Manager and your accounting package. Once the primary item field and the item translation columns are completed, integrated customers will be able to utilize the item setup table to complete the export of orders from Transaction Manager to their ERP and to complete the import of certain transactions from their ERP to Transaction Manager. The item setup table can also be utilized to effectively complete the creation of transactions by turnaround. Finally, there are additional item setup features that may be useful for some customers. These include the ability to stop item information from automatically populating in the item setup table and setting an alert for when there are items in an order that are not yet set up in the item setup table. As previously mentioned, new item information will fill into the item setup table automatically when an order is received. If you do not want item information to fill in automatically, this setting can be altered. To do this, click on the icon in the upper left hand corner and select Business System. Select your company from the list. In the action bar, click on the Company Configuration drop-down and choose Options. Here you can keep the setting as it is or you can choose to never add new items. The second feature for integrated customers specifically is to set an alert for when new items are present on an order that are not yet set up in the item setup table. To do this from the partner record, click the settings drop down from the action bar and choose options. Here you will be able to activate the always worn on export for new items setting. This will let you know that new items are present that need to be set up and it will keep the transaction that you're trying to export in your inbox. This concludes the item setup and primary item field tutorial for integrated customers. As a reminder for TrueCommerce customers, for any testing related questions, please contact your assigned implementation specialist. For any production related questions, please contact our support team.